Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to pull a clean key from green screened footage. So we're using a uh, video shot that gets the green screen, and I'll show you what plugin to use inside of Premiere to pull that key. And uh, one thing I want to mention is um, when you're shooting video with a green screen, you do want to shoot with the uh, most even amount of light possible. So you know, you don't want shadows showing up. You don't want, you know, different levels of light on your background. You want to have the background as clean as possible. Um, in this case, we didn't have it dead on. There was some brightness up here and some darkness down here, but it's good enough. There's no shadow. She's not casting a shadow, and she's not wearing any green. So this was a pretty good shoot. So uh, let's go ahead and, uh, and pull that green out of this image. And the way we're going to do that is in Premiere, if you go to your effects, go down to Ultra Key, and go ahead and drop that onto your footage. All right. Now up here, this is in Premiere Pro CC, um, under Effect Controls, you'll see you now have Ultra Key. This is pretty simple to use. What you're going to want to do is first select the color you're trying to remove from the video. So we'll use a little eyedropper tool here. And we will select one of the greens. I'm going to choose one of the darker greens. Okay. Now, you can see that it didn't pull all the green. You can see there's some gray in the background here. What we're going to do is we'll go ahead and choose a setting called aggressive. And what aggressive will do is it'll try to find more of the shade of green in the, uh, in the video clip. So we'll choose aggressive. And you'll notice that key is much cleaner now, a lot cleaner. And we can look at this on a different background. Right now we have this crazy fire going on, but let's try something like a, a wizard castle or this uh, atlas-looking thing, or even uh, Rancor from Star Wars. OK, and you can see it's a pretty clean key, but we can actually clean that up a little bit better. Let's go back to the uh, atlas. And uh, we'll zoom in on this. OK, and we'll kind of take a look. It's not bad. And even on the uh, wizard image, you can see it's, it's not bad. Um, we can clean up a bit, though. So let's go to Matte Cleanup. And we're going to use the Choke and the Soften um, options here. So first we'll do Choke. Choke will actually sort of um, pull that key in a bit. It'll minimize the key and uh, decrease the size of it. So we'll go ahead and we'll choke this key a little bit. And you can see it's kind of in her hair there. It's pulling it in just a bit, just a bit. And if we go to soften, soften will actually sort of soften the key a bit. So we'll do some softening here. And you can see it's kind of like feathering in Photoshop, where you're actually giving that nice soft edge to the uh, the key. So let's zoom back out. Do fit. And if we play this, integrated with other ongoing field projects such as the ARRA site characterization. Try with the Atlas background. Integrated with other ongoing field projects such as the ARRA site characterization and others. Okay. Not bad. Looks pretty good. Um, we'll try it with my favorite background. Let's put the fire back up. Integrated with other ongoing field projects, such as the ARRA site. Now our head's on fire. It's pretty good. I mean, it's a clean key. It looks good. Um, another advantage to doing a key like this is that now you can actually scale the video and move her around pretty much wherever you want. And there's a limitation with the bottom here, of course, because there's a, it cuts off. But I can move this image around the uh, the video pretty much wherever I want. So if I go to Motion, open this up, I can scale it down. And I can drag her around, put her over here, if I want. I integrated with other ongoing field. And it looks good. And, you know, we can put it over here, whatever you want to do. Projects, such as the ARRA. So that's a really quick way of, uh, of pulling a key. Like I said, it's the ultra the Ultra Key plugin, 
inside of uh, Premiere Pro. And uh, that ships with Premiere, so it's already in there. If you own Premiere, it's in there. It was in CS6 as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope this helped you, and uh, thanks for watching.